War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Hey, yo. I bet you didn't expect to see this game pop up on the channel. <laughs> well, neither did I. But before we get into as of the why, let's let's load up all these little presets and do the things here. Super proud of this. This I tried to sculpt as much after the, the younger me as possible. The tattoos are not there, obviously. But I wanted the Brotherhood tattoo and I wanted the rebuild tattoo on the face. I thought those were really cool. Really, really says the feel of what I want to do with this character. Now, why is Fallout 4 on the channel? Well, I was looking for a game that didn't require me to think to play. Because... Thinking and, and playing has is, is not been my strong suit here lately. Uh, but I didn't really, I didn't like Fallout 4. But what made me pick Fallout 4 is this beautiful mod called Horizon. And it completely regenerates the game. I mean, it makes it playable in my, my personal opinion. What got me about Fallout 4 is just it felt like it was lacking in so many things. The difficulty wasn't there. I know they added survival mode. Uh, later on, which is what we're in, by the way. But it still, it still didn't have that. And well, you know, I never, I never really touched it again. However, Horizon has changed that for us. Horizon has added in so much difficulty, has made everything in the game purpose, or rather, it gives a purpose to everything in the game, like burnt books on, and stuff on, like that. On. You use that, oh, buddy. You need to come down look at you mm. give me that ring and I'll get Sean back. of course we'll get Sean back of course promise. now there is a lot about this game that I don't I don't know right off bat uh, I've only gotten as far in the main story as hunting down for Kellogg's and I was gonna toss the milk his way but I never could get a hold of him now I have done some side quest stuff I did a little bit of the mechanicus when it came out but not a whole lot i basically did the first mission with ada and the game still couldn't just hold my attention that's that's how that's how bad it was but like i said this on the other hand changes everything Ooh, do i want nine charisma no we're gonna go like that see that that uh we're using this mod called Quick Start or something like that. And what, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be picking a trait. So it's going to give us plus two to all our stats, but it's going to reduce our leveling speed. Which on top of, whatchamacallit here, Horizon, it just, it just adds on to the difficulty. On top of that, we're going to be going full melee and probably splody balls. Having some G-nades our way will be pretty cool. Let's just go around and pick up all the stuff because Horizon is a very loot-heavy, loot-centric game. Everything has a purpose. Oh, man. And we're playing on Desolation, by the way. I've been messing around with this mod for a few days because, I've been, like I said, I've been trying to like find something that I will enjoy playing. And, you know... The difficulty of Fallout, it's it's not there. You know, we run around, we get we get a pretty good story. We kill this guy and get some rads. Giant hey, look at that. See, roaches. that is a rad roach. That is normally not something you would encounter as a level one. Now Horizon removes that. We could walk out freaking sanctuary front steps, walk up onto a mythic death claw and be like, hey fam, and just, you know, get straight up obliterated right then and there. And that, that is cool. It's difficult, but it is cool. I want that. I want to talk about real quick though. I do have some quality of life mods installed. I have two of them. One is an auto looter. So as we walk around, we just gobble gobble up like a vacuum cleaner. And the other one is easily hacked terminals. Now it doesn't, doesn't nullify our skill at all. In fact, give me, give me your jibber. Whoa, I forgot the block. Doesn't matter, killed you anyway. Are you dead? 
Can I get to you? I need your Ghibli bits before you before I get killed if I and you're dead and block and block again where'd you go there it is but yeah this game doesn't require a lot of my attention span and there's no like there's no like you know i mean the building part actually does kill my brain cells out a little bit i don't know if you guys have noticed like my voice or anything but i'm just not i'm not 100 percent like i normally am my energy levels are very low and this this is kind of like you know, just go around, collect the things, do a quick save, cause uh, some of the mods in this game that I've added don't mesh well with uh, Horizon. And my attempt at making a mod patch for them, albeit it works, uh, yeah, like I said, my thought process has not been able to allow me to correctly think of a good way to, like, manage everything. Let's just get some bad action in here. Is that it? That's the only one we can get. There we go. We can get you two. Or not. I just like watching this. The cinematicness is so cool. I better start killing things before I die here. Now, typically, typically you'd want to like do this and kind of lure them out a little at a time because in Horizon, healing yourself is very, very difficult. You don't have stem pack. You do, they're called combat stems, but they're rare, they're expensive to make, and they don't heal you instantly. Where is and it? Boop. Now right here we're going to see the only glitch that I have so far in the game. I haven't been very far in the game yet, but as far as I can tell, this is the only time something that I've that I've added to the Fallout game had makes a derp and it's right about meow. Or not. Come on, don't make me a lie. There it is. The shadow right here kind of like derpifies, but I think that's an issue with my ENB. And I really like my ENB, so I don't want to change it. Nice. We'll be able to do a lot of settings and stuff once we get out of this place. Because we don't have access to all the hollow tapes that we need to set up our character until we get up top. One thing we could do is fix like the beautification stuff. Look how pretty all this is. Oh, it's so good texture mods for the wind yo let's uh let's grab up all the stuff that we can get i think it was a combat stem pack in that but i'm not 100 sure what what do we what do's we do do here uh let's go with this let's definitely put that on let's grab some glasses their clothing no longer gives benefits in the game it's literally just the kind of look pretty cool there's a few clothing items that do still give a few things but they're far and few in between. Oh man, this is this is so loud. It's not gonna be loud for you guys because I'm gonna fix that in post, but for me, this is like blasting my damn eardrums right here. Mother trucker. And here we go. Our one and only handgun that we get in the game is right there. Not that it matters, because we're melee. Now, at some point, we'll probably have to pick up something like an assault rifle or, you know, some, some type of weapon like that. And that's simply just to handle turrets because some turrets would just be impossible for us to manage. Now, if our companion can deal with the turrets feasibly, then we won't have to worry about it. That would be a great thing. Hopefully, hopefully that's how, how it turns out is companion or companions because we can have dog meat and we can have one other companion on top of that i have a mod in here that it's called robot home defense and it gives us the ability to use another mod that we can make we can make robots and we can bring those robots with us we can bring as many as we want but i'm only going to bring one now the downside to that is is they can be completely and utterly destroyed they don't they don't hillify all right i'm gonna do all of the settings and adjust things here 
get things going and I'll catch you guys in a minute. Sweetness. I got all of our little settings and, and gizmos and gadgetries put into place. Uh look how oh, oh, it's pretty pretty this is. It's so mods, man. Wow. Mods can really bring a game back to life, let me tell you. I'm a big fan. Big fan. Now we are playing on desolation. Just yeah, right there. Desolation mode. So all the diseases are gonna hit harder. Vendors are going to have less inventory. They're going to the prices for buying and selling is going to be different. It's going to be altered. Not going to be the same. And that's going to be kind of rough. Um, health healing up at a at a clinic is going to be more expensive. And man, it is definitely definitely. A lot harder than what it originally was. Had to pause for the cinematics there. That was super cool, by the way. Oh, yes, let's just gobble up anything in here of use. Do I have a lot pick? I do. Nice, nice piece. Oh, oh. I do enjoy this little mini game even though i suck at it royally that's it which is why i haven't like added in something that would trivialize that but i don't like looking for a letter or a word inside of a bunch of other little words not fun for me fam not fun for me at all so my reply to that was to just get rid of it now right out the gate one of the things that i need to do is i need to turn the auto loop program off because there is a glitch that will happen with auto loop if we go inside this gizmo over here. Appreciate. Transfer everything into there. We need to also go into my configs for faster workshop. Always we get to do this. Every time. Ah, oh, it's so good. What does this need? Nothing. Great. We can put that down already. Now, there's a few things that I like to do with this. This is, by the way, the architect or this. It's something that comes with Horizon. It's really good. We're going to remove all of those invisible markers, and that's going to mean that when people come here, they're not going to be banging away on the walls and accomplishing very little. I'm going to start junking that. I could get rid of everything in here, but I don't want to. That's not something I want to do. Now, here's the culprit, this special book. There's a problem that happens with uh, the auto loot in that special book is that the auto loot program will pick it up. And it's only with that book there. So when the auto loot program picks it up, what happens is that you have to put it back down. Well, that's all and fine and well and dandy and whatnot. But once you drop it and pick it back up, the area around that becomes glitched. And what happens after that is every time you walk past that area, you get a stat point. So you could have an incredible amount of stat points. You just have all of them, every one of them, and then some. So we don't want that to happen. All right. That one might be the last one of the scrappy things that I use. Because for the most part, the aesthetics of this place is something that I want to keep. Uh, we're going to scrap. We're going to say, okay, we're going to get out of this though. Now we are going to be utilizing some stealth, but it's not going to be a lot. Mostly the stealth that we're going to be utilizing is going to come in the form of hiding from our enemies when it gets too much for us to handle. Whoa. So that we can heal. Get in there, buddy. Nice. Very nice. Nicely done. Nice, nice. Get out of the rats. Get out of the rats, though. Ah, uh, we got what everything up in this house. I think we have. Perfect. We can do that. We can do that. I'll take this. Snatch up that tree, too, while we're here. Now, 
This here is a very important location for Horizon fam. Listen to me. Not this part. Not this part. What we're going to be doing there. I wanted to come up here and get all of that. Beautiful. Beautifulness. We're going to go down into the root cellar. Now the root cellar is a key location. You should definitely make sure absolutely without fail that if you're playing Horizon, you come here. Why? Because of this right here. Vault tank training manual. A cargo bot, a supply kit. That vault tank training manual, what it does is an aid when you use it. Oops. When you use it, boom, you get a point. Now, if I was playing any other game, I would go up here to Scrapper, or I would possibly even start off with my Blitz and my Rooted for a melee character. But since we're on Horizon, we really need to get Hunter. Now, if you notice, this is not normal Fallout looking at all. I mean, look right here. This is where uh, Brawler or whatever is supposed to be, but it's completely different. The entire skill system has been changed in Horizon. And it's very important to get familiar with just what all has changed. Now, if you notice, there's, I'm still picking up some stuff. The, uh, like, right there. For example, the auto loot program doesn't snatch up everything, but it snatches up enough. Now, there's another cool little thing. We couldn't open it, but we had some explosive charges. Now we can make those explosive charges or we can find them like we just did. Now I'm going to use every one that I have until I get in here because this always has a magazine. We got unlucky. Guns and bullets. Why? Well, I don't need that. It's not something I need in my life game. Uh, right here, I'm going to go ahead and, and put the... I thought my health went back to full for some reason. Because you can... You can quick tab out of that uh, sleeping menu and you won't waste the hour. You can still, you know, do your quick save. Let's go in this building here. I'm not going to scrap the TVs and stuff, I don't think. Because I might use them for decorations. Or the radios, at least. Uh, is that something I really want to do, though? I mean, like, for example, that's still in glass. That could that could go. This this is definitely going. Um, those are definitely going away. I might use some of this stuff. Nah, nah. Nope. Nope. Gobble, gobble, gobble. We're, we're going to need all this. However, the radios. I locked the radio, so I'm not going to get rid of that. Now, what does this TV give? Is this worth destroying? Yes, it is. Basic circuitry. Uh, oh, I'll get rid of that trash too, why not? Ooh, my eyeballs. All right, definitely getting rid of all the street lamps and all the vehicles. Uh, certain vehicles, when you scrap them in your settlements, they'll give vehicle scrap. And that's the good stuff. That's the stuff you want because that is um, nuclear material. And a lot of things in this game, it's very craft heavy, by the way. Oh, crap. That was not what I wanted to do. Okay, let's go. This should clean herself right here without hopefully destroying too much of our health. Goodness. That could have been a lot worse, but thankfully. Thankfully it was not. Alright. Scrappy scrappy. Crappy. I don't think I'm going to use anything in here. It's just extra stuff for us. That's all. Ooh, scrappy, you too. Scrap, 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 and scrap. Lots of good little little things in these houses. Now, one cool thing about Horizon, and when it comes to like your base building and whatnot and all that, there's a lot of like pre-done items you can use already a lot of them are really good they also don't count towards your build limit but it doesn't matter because you can increase your build limit with horizon anyway so there is that i don't have to worry about it at all i have an unlimited build limit so all is well in that part Other people could still be alive too. Well, of course 
course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International? I love Codsworth. I'm going to turn him the most powerful Saltron on the planet. Best not let the wife see you in that state. Where is the missus, by the way? They... They killed her. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? No, they killed him, bro. Do I not have a kill him option? Oh sure well. He's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's Those facial expressions. I, I love it. You're suffering from hunger induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> no. No, that's not possible. I wasn't out for that long. Not 200 years. A bit over 210, actually, sir. <laughs> or give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? Well, it's better late than never, I say. What? Food? I pressed the wrong button. Yeah, sure. I, I need a minute to think. Dang it. Wrong button pressed. All right, you you go you go do you, Kavdi. I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna loot this place. Now I really enjoy like the chattiness and everything in the game, so I hope y'all don't mind. But we'll be listening to all the conversations because I like them. Nothing, nothing, nothing any more than that, really. Turn you on, cause reasons. And whoop, you come up here. Go right there. While Cogsy is doing what he do, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna get a mailbox set up. Very important to have that going as soon as possible. I'm gonna check the mail. For some reason, for me, this this. The mail check-in is always kind of like a, an extended process. Like it takes it takes a minute. I don't know if it's just all the mods that I have, which probably is the reason why. If I'm being honest, well, I didn't want to do that. You are gonna go over here. I have place. I have place anywhere. So you may not. If you're not using that mod, you may not be able to do some of the re, some of the placement shenanigans that I'm currently doing. We'll go like that. Uh, this guy. I always like to have him right here. Recruitment beacon. Not a thing that I need to worry about right now. That's pretty much everything that's needed for this particular point Mr. in the game. <laughs> from the reds codsworth buddy i don't think the reds are going to be a problem anymore i have an idea let's search the neighborhood together mm -hmm. codsworth are you sure you're holding up okay i i oh sir it's been just horrible two centuries with no one to talk to no one to serve i spent the first Ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets our nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. And the car, the car, how do you polish rust? Stay with me, pal. Focus. I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. 
the bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry, I thought for certain you and your family were dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you. Thanks, Godzi. Thank you, Cardsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and your Way ahead of you, Bob. Way ahead of you. Cardsworth, I already looked. They're not here. Then they're really gone, aren't they? No, sir. Thanks for trying, Cardsworth. You can't give up, sir. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. <laughs> I love that line. Only a few times. Uh, I can relate to that. Thanks for your help, Cosworth. Good luck, sir. You'll find young Sean. I know you will. I shall remain here and secure the home. Alright, now while, while Cosworth is secure in the home front, there's a few things that I need to keep in mind that needs to be done as soon as possible. Um... Me running around doing some of this business is probably something that I could do a little later, but it, it needs doing. It needs doing. Nope. Yep. Don't know what happened there. Uh, right down here, I suppose, I think. We have some baddies in here. No, I killed those baddies already. Scrap you. Scrap you. Is there anything in there? I thought I could have sworn there was a fishing post somewhere. Now right right here, like check this out. And skip nice. away. That's it. That's all it needs. Now we can't we can only do that if we have the skill to actually open the 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 thing that we're trying to do. So it's not like game breaking. Oh, mother trucker. I want my only bobby pin. Fantasticals right there. I wanted that lock picking XP because one of the things that Horizon does is it changes how how your progression works. And I felt like felt like oops, I knew you was around here somewhere. I've done this a few times. Go ahead and killify you. Give me your Ghibli bits though. I need that for my survival. Thank you. So we get you we get you in here. This one looks fresh, so that'd be a scrap. That's nuclear material. That's important. Very important. Go ahead and stop. What the? What? Man, these little guys are like freaking Gatling guns when it comes to attacking. Unfortunately, in VATS, that's that's a pretty bad thing to have happen to you because. We'll, we'll not do that. We will not do that. I might actually go ahead and sc scrap the debris here. I don't know though, I really like how the debris looks and feels. Go ahead and turn you on. Oh, I got the fishing rod, perfect. Anything good in there? Some lead, some silver. One of the big things when it comes to Horizon, especially in Desolation mode, is that Horizon is very punishing to you in combat. The difficulty amped up, that was a Horizon thing by the way, the difficulty is amped up to 11, definitely. In a world where the difficulty could only... Uh-oh. I might have overstepped my bounds here a little bit and broke something. That's fine. Oh, you know what? I bet it was that texture mod that I added in. Let's see what happens with option number three here. How does that look? Oh, that's sexy. Look at that. Makes it look all oh, beautiful. I love it. All right, let's get down here, grab one of my favorite outfits in the game, get some Ghibli bits if possible. Jump up here to this bag, nothing. Okay, while that is going on, we can jump into aid. I'm gonna hotkey those. Look, there's a combat stem packs. And not only that, they're only a 50 second cooldown and they don't really heal for a ton. It's, it's a very, very roughified, very roughified. Go ahead and get our drifter outfit on. Uh, what am I doing in here? I have some purified water, but I don't have anything else. Okay. I didn't get the field kit or the other thing that you normally get. That might come at level two. I can't remember, to be honest. 
get in the third person where this is a little bit easier. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to come with me, pal? Man, I really feel like a... I wish there was... I could find a mod. Maybe if I looked a little okay. harder, I could. But I'd really Stay like together. to turn dog meat into a pit bull. That feels like the proper type of pet to have protecting you in the wasteland. I mean, don't get me wrong. German Shepherds are cool and all, but pit bulls are even cooler. All right, we're going to remove all the invisible markers here again. However, this is one of the few places where I come here and I do scrap all categories below. Simply because the, the kind of the way I do red rocket is a little different than how most people would do the only things i don't i don't i leave are these gas pumps although you can get liquid fuel from scrapping those and it's very possible that i might actually do that in the future we'll scrap all of those bits and pieces because they're kind of importantified to have run around get her, and look at this horizon makes like the build areas just massive I mean, every area has been revamped completely. Like, Hangsman Alley is, like, my favorite place. The whoa, mother truck is where you at. I do that business. Oh, crap. I don't have uh, Blitz yet. Oh, missed. That's not good. All right. We're going to pick this guy out. Perfect. Perfect. What the? What? All right, I can put some on him. That's it. Oh, it's in my in my back. Block. Block again. Got you with a power attack, homie. All right, we're gonna use our critical on this guy, and hopefully, with the dog meat's help, we can take him out. I'm gonna get out of those rads, though. Ooh. All right, yeah. You gotta be gotta be really careful with combat you kind of you gotta i find that being aggressive is the safest way to be in horizon because the sooner you get rid of the bad the sooner the bad stops getting rid of you so that's my strategy when it comes to horizon especially on melee you can afford to be less aggressive when you have like a ranged option considering we don't have ranged options being being very aggressive is absolutely the best way to go now when it comes to like doing stuff like this i always go through these computers because i don't know which ones do it but some places mark things on your map and like i said i haven't played a lot Ooh, you're floating get rid of you now you're not floating now you one of us before we get out of here though, I want to come around this way. And we're going to dump all of that into there. Anything else handy handy dandy we can just toss in. I want to keep the fishing rod. We can come over this way. And another another thing that Horizon adds in are these personal beds. Now whenever you put one of these down, you can see up there their beds are still zero because it doesn't count as a bed as far as your settlers and they won't use it either but let you have your own little me space which is something i really enjoyed because i hated when settlers would roll up into my spot play with my stuff see what i mean by being aggressive we just trivialize that entire matter right there by just being all like hamify now there's going to be a lot of situations where the quote unquote man up kind of little strategy would just not work, but that's okay because we can man down a little bit and still come out on top. Now what you just, what we just found there, that backpack, it's a really cool looking backpack. It's from the backpacks of the Commonwealth. As you can see, we get two damage resist, 20 carry, but minus one agility until we're able to upgrade the uh, backpacks of the Commonwealth, they're not feasible to be used. Now, Horizon adds in like uber powerful backpacks that you have access to from the very beginning. 
and which is which is phenomenal like as soon as we get back we're going to be making a camping backpack with like plus 60 or 40 or 80 something weight absolutely hands down phenomenal now what we're doing with my strategy when it comes in here is we're just only going to go down to about right sure we're going to pick all the stuff off old dude find out if he had anything he has had a leather arm piece which is fine now over here's something that i learned about recently actually when i was watching a let's play of uh horizon is this thing called a speakeasy i never knew this was here now the cool thing about this speakeasy is well one we're just gobbling up a lot of stuff we're like a vacuum cleaner just rolling up into this place but what we want to vacuum up it's right upstairs up here. I think it's in here, is it? No, it's no, it's not. But let me grab that vault Tech gizmo right there. I'm gonna roll over. Yeah, there, that's where it was. So those, those, those dude bros over there. That is gonna open us up to, where's it? A, a machete. Now that machete is exactly what we want in our life. Now we have a better melee weapon you know it's very possible that i might go straight up fisting i mean fist a cuff in the faces of the baddies in the wasteland just sounds like a good idea to me in a way we could just fist our way to victory i don't know that sounds pretty cool if you ask me grab a power fist or a gravity fist speaking of gravity fist that is that's an item added by one of the uh, horizon mod packs i think it's a separate one but I have the official Horizon mod pack and the unofficial Horizon weapons mod pack. Along with the option to, uh, what's it called? Cross cybernetics. I have the, uh, have the patch for that, for that as well. And basically what that will allow us to do is make baby power armor. It's not as good as power armor. There are other armors that are slightly better in some ways, but gives us the ability to have have some cool you know power armor you feel kind of kind of armor if we go the fisticuff route if we don't go the fisticuff route we won't need to worry about it we'll just go straight power armor and a really big axe or probably like a super sledge Gosh. you know if we can put like we can put like some cool mods on a super sledge do something like that there are a few other melee weapons. I think there's like the big, big old katanas and some other things that are big that I can't really remember. I don't, I don't honestly, I don't know what all, what all is in. So here's another little spot that I never knew about. This is, uh, I don't know what this is, to be honest. It's some kind of little like warehouse thing. There's a few things in here you want to hit up in horizon especially when you play it on uh desolation difficulties you want to go to the everywhere you want to get all of the things you want to loot everything that you can possibly loot i think we gotta go one more yeah now i got the range on the auto loot set up just a wee little bit i don't have anything for that so i probably want to set that down a notch but Oh, mother trucker. Ooh, that was scary. That was scary right there. I just knew that was going to break a leg. <laughs> uh, that was that was not good. Would have ended really bad. I want to get over there. I know auto loot has already gobbled it up, but I still want to physically go there. And now I'm happy. Yep, everything is all gobbled up now another reason to actually like physically go to the spots it's like i said before auto loot does not gobble up everything it doesn't get everything that you come across when it comes to you know looting so it's always safe to make sure especially especially fuel cans like it won't gobble up fuel cans at all I'm not sure where that 11 xp come from but i will happily take it we are cruising to level two at a pretty decent rate. 
Yeah, that packing material. Packing material is used to make beds. Isn't that great? Like every item in the game has a function. Everything is super important in this game. Now, plans for level two is I think, I think we're going to get rooted. Quite possibly rooted will be like the main thing we get. And that's going to open us up to a lot, a lot of options when it comes to dealing the damages to the face of the baddies. Whoop. Dog meat did his little growl thingy, and I just knew we were aided. Now, I can't remember if there's anything over here on this pier, but I always go to the pier. Oh, hello. That is, you did. You have Ghibli bits. You do. Nice. Ghibli bits are very important. Now, on desolation mode, desolation really tries to aim you towards being self sufficient. And since there's a lot of things that we require as like all the type of melee build that we're going for, we're going to require a few more stat points. Oh, 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 oh. And Ghibli bits. Thank you for your donation to my survival. That will come in handy. Ghibli bits are always useful. Oh, another Ghibli bit. Ah, oh, missed. Oh, I don't have blitz. There we go. Yeah, the XP. The XP is so low. Wow. It is going to take us forever and a day. Like, I should be I should be with an 8 or 9 intelligence or whatever I have. What do I have? 9? With a 9 intelligence, I should be level 2 right now, even by Horizon standards. And obviously, we're really close to level 2, but the... The downside of that taking that talent to give like the additional two stat points it starts to come the more we level the more of an effect it has on us so it really grinds us to a halt but you know like i said it's just both good and bad the good thing about it is it, it gives me more freedom i mean you can actually you can do this build without that at completely you just it just requires you to go do some bobblehead hunting this way it just cuts out the bobble of the a lot of the bobblehead hunting even though they're gonna hunt the bobbleheads they're gonna go get them hey kogsky i love that he says he says mr joe i came across a few people who didn't want to kill me not much else. That's unfortunate. I realize that I'm no Mr. Gutsy, but if needed, I'd be honored to accompany you throughout the Commonwealth. Thanks, Godsby. Yes, of course. Lead the way, sir. All right. Now we have Cogsworth and freaking Dogmeat with us. We are pretty much golden as far as our carry capacity goes that's the that's the main thing of keeping those guys around is carry capacity uh put that away let's just do this business i'll take that taking those taking that because we are going to be stopping by to do some selling later we're going to start the big loop uh i sell those i drink that sell that i need you I need you you and you diseased meat moldy food uh i can keep everything in there uh this this and this i'm gonna hold on to for reasons and Oh, we're looking up here for weapons. All right. With that, it's time for us to kind of get into a few things to do. One of those being that we need a recruitment radio right here, which is fine. We're going to need a scrapper station, which we can put right here. Uh, not a guard post, not yet. We'll... We'll come to that here in a minute. What am I looking for? Here we go. 
You can only have one of these per settlement in Horizon. And that's probably the safest way to for us to do the water drinking outside of purified water. That and the water that Cogsworth gives us. You see, I'll put one here, one of these there. Now it's time to like do power. I'm thinking, thinking we don't have the materials for that. Okay. All right. We're we not doing power now. Do I not have any liquid fuel? Ah, da, 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 da. Well, we're just gonna have to hold off. I didn't get lucky to get the liquid fuel, but we can flip flop back around here for just a second and go over to farming supplies. How many potatoes do we have? We don't have enough potatoes. Am I like missing something here? I'm definitely gonna have to check my inventory here in a minute. Let's do this business. Where is the? Or the? Hmm. Where'd they go? Utility. Utility. It's gotta be the first one, right? Why can't I put you down? I don't have any acid. Holy cow. Okay. Let me make sure that I have like all the okay. things. Let's trade. Nope. You don't got anything. Cogsworth. Cogsworth, buddy. No, I already got you already, didn't I? Hmm. Yes. Well, onward. Onward over to... Where's it at? In crafting. Pretty sure I picked it up. I just don't know what I did with it. I did pick it up, right? Please. Yes, I did pick it up. Okay. I'll just drop this down here for now. I need to do a couple things. Ingredients. How many of these can I make? Three. Perfect. Cogsworth Affinity minus 50% for making bait. How dare you defy me. Now I'm not going to be using that bait just yet. We're actually going to, we're not going to be touching onto it until we get to about level four or so. But I'm going to bring us down here. Over here somewhere. This is going to be where we, what we call it for this episode. We're going to be starting what I call the loop or at least some of the loop anyway. I don't know how much we'll actually get done considering the time game time might be better to just do a small loop come back sleep go do the big loop after that but yeah hopefully you all like having modded fallout on the channel it's definitely a lot easier for me to play i just run around and and talk and mumble i don't have to like design complicated structures and space engineers or write a freaking <laughs> theoretical formula and stationers to just get some stuff done i just plop stuff down and be done with it and it's 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 a lot easier for me mentally and health wise to to do that. So I am going to enjoy my time on Fallout 4 mod and I hope you all enjoy yours and I will see you next time in the wasteland. <laughs>